So this is a demonstration of um, uh, MQTT and Wi-Fi capability on ESP8266, uh, uh, our, our ESP devices with um, uh, fast LED capability. So first off, what I'll be doing is I'll be enable. I've got everything running with the local Wi-Fi on my uh, on my Android phone as well as a MQTT broker on there. So I'm going to set up the uh, uh, networking. So mobile hotspot and tethering. Turn on the mobile hotspot. And I'm going to load up, uh, load a configuration with the username and password on my on an MQTT broker that I've got running on there. I'm going to start that broker. And next I'm going to load up the IoT MQTT control panel which is an MQTT client. And so we'll have the Android client talking to the Android server locally and then it will be uh, publishing information that will be picked up by all the subscribers which are these nine um, nine uh, uh, lanterns that I have in front of me. Let's see if we have them all there. There they are. Okay so what I have here is the uh, I'm running the Fire 2012 routine and I've got several different widgets. One is a, a pop-up widget which allows you to select any one of or all of these uh, devices here. Oh, we need to connect it here, so just click on that. And then the sliders are just brightness, hue, speed, so on and so forth. So some pretty standard um, uh, controls if you have a, um, uh, uh, if you're familiar with that Fire 2012 routine. So next what I'll do is I will turn up the brightness for all of them. And so all of these nine separate uh, lanterns will go on, uh, will turn on. I can then select, let's say, uh, let's say number 11 over to the left, and I can change the hue of that guy. Let's select number uh, 14 somewhere in the middle, change his hue somewhere. I can change for uh, that guy. I can also increase the sparking a lot. So it's not necessarily as noticeable as some of the other functions. Okay, I can go back to all of them and I can change all of their hue to something else. Okay, I can change the cooling, lower the cooling, and so it's going to be a much lower uh, flame. So again, go to let's see number 19 over on which is the right, change his brightness, now let's say change his hue, reduce his cooling, and uh, oh yes, all right, there we go, and he should be, uh, he should be somewhat brighter. Okay, so that's uh, the advantage of this over most of the other interfaces that I've seen is that you can now control many different devices, one or many different devices with a simple uh, uh, control panel. Um, you don't need to use HTML, CSS, JavaScript or any of that uh, functionality. You don't need to set up a website, just a very simple MQTT broker application with your Wi-Fi and, uh, and then configure up the uh, uh, the control panel and and then just load up the the code that uh, for instance that I'd written. Um, let's see if I compare some of these different uh, wireless technologies. The um, I've used infrared remote control and that works okay. The disadvantage of that is it's a little difficult. It's somewhat difficult to control individual uh, uh, displays like this. Bluetooth also. It's got a nice, um, nice application that you can run on a cell phone, but again, easy, more difficult to control multiple devices. On the web, ones that I've seen, lots of uh, challenges developing the code, and typically they'll attach to a single, uh, a, a single um, lantern. So this was relatively easy to set up. 
Okay, I hope you've enjoyed that and I will pro be providing uh, links to all of this, to the code, as well as my website which has got um, uh, some more um, tutorials on how to set this up.